morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today is an exciting day for me. I am going to be starting an egg fast. The plan is to go for three days eating nothing but eggs and a little bit of cheese, a little bit of fat. There is a little list of rules, I guess you could say, for an egg fast that you should follow. And I am going to be trying it for the first time. An egg fast is something that I never thought that I would do because I am just not a fad diet person. I do eat a ketogenic diet and I have for three years. It is not a fad diet for me. It's a lifestyle and my health has completely changed since I have been eating this way. So for a few weeks now, I have been thinking about a challenge that I could do for the month of September over in my Patreon group, which is linked down below under this video. It's also over, over on my website, the link for Patreon. You can go over there and join with a free trial if you would like to check it out. I have a lot of information over there. I have challenges that we have done in the past that you could watch and do. I have a lot of content on the ketogenic diet. I have content over there on protein sparing modified fasting, a lot of different things. So for the month of September, I have decided that we're going to do a carnivore challenge over there and I'm going to do 30 days of carnivore. I eat very heavy meat based right now. I myself consider it carnivore meat based. I eat mostly meat, eggs, dairy, and a little tiny bit of vegetables once in a while as a garnish. I might have some onions. I might have some pickles. Once in a great while, I might have a salad. It's summer and I like to enjoy those kind of things this time of year. Oh, I do for the most part eat meat based, very heavy. So for the month of September, I'm going to be really bringing things in a little bit. I'm going to be eliminating vegetables for the month of September. I'm going to be eating just meat, eggs, some cheese, a little bit of cream, and that's going to be pretty much it. I'm going to eliminate the onions and the lettuce and all the things that I have been enjoying throughout the summer. The reason that I'm doing this for one is I still once in a while when I eat certain things get a little bit of irritation in my body. I can feel inflammation. I have some digestion issues when I have certain things that are not animal based. Uh, what my plan is to do actually, I should say, is I'm gonna do a three day egg fast and then I'm gonna go right into carnivore right here in August. I wanna get a good start for a couple of weeks before I actually start the official challenge. I like to do that. It helps me to get really in the rhythm of it and then I am more helpful to others when they start the challenge. Um, I wanted to do this egg fast just to sort of jumpstart my metabolism, do like metabolism reset so that I could go right into carnivore. Sure, I could go right into just eating meat but I wanted to do this for fun, just to try it and see how it does, see how my body responds. So today I'm starting the egg fast and I'm gonna be showing you my meals throughout the day today on an egg fast. Right now I'm just having some coffee with just a little like half teaspoon of butter in this coffee. You're encouraged on this fast to have a little bit of fat with your eggs. So instead of heavy cream, I put a little bit of butter in my coffee and I just whisked it up. And that's all I've had so far. I do intermittent fasting. I am not hungry yet. It is 9.30. And so I'm going to wait until I'm hungry and I'm going to have my first meal. So when that time comes, I will show you what my egg fast meal will be for my first meal today. I'm excited. I'm really excited to get this thing going. If you are doing this with me, let me know down in the comments how you're doing today and I will see you soon. All right, so I'm getting ready to have my first meal on this egg fast and... I am gonna be taking a couple of chaffles that I made. These are made out of eggs and cheese. This is my savory chaffle recipe. I did put a little tiny bit of garlic powder and just a little bit of salt in with the batter. I made mine in a Belgian waffle maker. That's why they are triangular shaped. I'm going to take some of this cheese, this cream cheese. This is really good. This is Tilmuk chive and onion cream cheese. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the cream cheese and spread it right onto each of these. Um, this is two scrambled eggs. I just kind of let them cook like an omelet. And so two eggs on a chaffle with some cream cheese. And that is my first meal for my egg fast for day one. It's gonna be it for a little while. 
later on. I'll come back and show you what else I'm having. See you then. So it is one o'clock and I'm sitting here at the computer and I am in the middle of taking a couple of online classes just to enhance my coaching program to get some more certifications. And I'm really excited about that. I am planning on specializing in food addiction and emotional eating and that kind of thing. So I am working on some classes for that. And so I'm having a little snack. This snack is from Anita from Ketogenic Woman. If you have never watched her before, you need to go to her channel and subscribe and watch her. She is very knowledgeable in the carnivore space. She is uh, she eats a carnivore diet and she has made several videos and blogs on the egg fast. She has been successful at doing egg fasting. So I am having one of her recipes for a snack right now. These are lemon cheesecake bars is what they are called over on her website, but I made them in little silicone muffin cups. And all this is is eggs and cream cheese and some lemon extract. And these taste like little cheesecakes. They are blended up in the blender. All of the ingredients just blend it up real quickly. Pour them into your little pan, however you plan on making them. If you want to make them into bars or um, muffin shape or whatever you want to do. And then you bake them and then you refrigerate them. They are better cold. This is something that she recommends. I did try one when it first came out of the oven and it was really good. But as it sits in the refrigerator, it becomes more of like a cheesecake consistency because that cream cheese starts to firm up once it cools down. And these are great. I'm having two of these for my snack today. They are egg fast approved and they taste delicious. I've never made these before, but I will continue to make these even when I'm done with my egg fast because they taste great and they're a great snack. And so I'll see you the next time I have something to eat. So it is 2.30. Me and my dog are out for a little walk. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining. It's about 80 degrees. It's just absolutely picture perfect weather. I'm still trying to incorporate activity into each day and taking advantage of the weather, doing things outside, going for a lot of walks. Also have fallen in love with bike riding. I have an e-bike, an electric bike and it has pedal assist on it, but you can also ride it as a regular bike, which is really nice because on these dirt roads, it has nice wide tires and I can ride for a while. And then if I get tired, I can just hit the pedal assist and just go. And so um, just trying to be more active and incorporating exercise into my daily routine. So just thought I would check in and let you know that we are out for our walk and it's a beautiful day. So come on, Sapphira. Sapphira just got out of the lake, so she's soaking wet. And this is a nice way to get her dried off. <laughs> she absolutely loves going for walks in the woods. Let's go, Missy. <laughs> we'll see you soon. All right, so it is getting close to dinner time. I'm gonna be making egg drop soup. I have some bone broth. This is my frozen bone broth little cups that I made the other day. I'm going to let this bone broth heat up. I'm gonna add some water to this and some salt. And then when it gets hot and almost to a boil, I am gonna whisk up some eggs, three eggs, and I'm gonna just stir them into here and whisk them until I have egg drop soup. Very simple, very easy. I have some Parmesan cheese here that I have sliced really, really thin. And I just took a block and sliced off a few thin slices. I'm gonna put these in my Z-Star air fryer and attempt to make some little Parmesan crisps to have with my soup. So I'm going to put them in on the air crisp setting and I'm just gonna wash them until they get nice and bubbly and turn crisp. So I'll let you know how that goes. 
And so I'll be back in just a little bit to update you on this dinner. All right, you can see here my little crackers are crisping up. Give them a little bit longer time. And I have my broth here that is coming to a boil. I'm gonna start stirring in these three eggs that I have whisked up. I do have a little tiny bit of green onion here that I got from my garden that I'm going to throw on top of the soup. So I'm gonna start whisking in these eggs just a little bit at a time until I get nice little strands of eggs in here. Add some more. Whisk it. Oops. Don't splash it like I did. All right, I'm gonna add in the rest of this and let it continue to cook. And I'll be right back. So check it out. Look at that egg drop soup. Looks delicious. And these crackers. Look at that. Great little cracker. I'm gonna try it out for you. I'm also drinking lots of water on this fast. So let me give it a taste test. Soup full of protein. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. It's very hot. It's delicious. It definitely is a little more salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle some more salt on it, but it is so good. My bone broth is amazing. Definitely need more salt. Cracker. All I did was put these in the air fryer on 400 degrees for, I don't know, it was maybe eight or 10 minutes. I just kept my eye on them. They're soft when you pull them out and then you just let them harden for a little bit. Really good. All right, it's gonna be pretty much it for me for today. It is just about five o'clock. If I have a hankering for a snack later on. I have boiled eggs in the refrigerator. I also have some of those little lemon, delightful cheesecake round muffin things that I could have a couple of those if I wanted to. Um, so that's gonna be it for today, my first day of an egg fast. I think it went really well. I am not super hungry, so the soup is gonna be perfect. There's actually more left in the pot um, that I may just refrigerate and have it again tomorrow. We'll see. But I'm gonna be back tomorrow to do day two of egg fasting and let you know what I'm gonna be eating throughout the day. You can be creative with eggs and cheese. You don't have to be stuck with just eating boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, fried eggs. You can be creative. And so the soup is calling my name. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and eat that. Ed is gonna be having some roast beef sandwiches. I have some protein sparing bread over there and today was really a temptation for me, but I overcame. I cooked a rump roast in the oven for him and I sliced it up really thin after it cooled and I saved some of the juice to make like an au jus and that's what he's gonna have tonight. So um, that's gonna be our day of eating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day and God bless.